I get sent a lot of new and interesting and sometimes unusual gadgets here in the technology test kitchen. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com and recently this device crossed my desk. It's called the Vita Stick, and what it does is measures the vitamin levels in your body just by touching it to your skin. I'm going to give you a little how-to on how it works and show you about the testing that I'm doing. It's going to take a few weeks though to get a full and complete review, so watch for that soon. But in the meantime, here's what you need to know. The Vita Stick is so far relatively easy to use. It connects with an app that you can download. And then once you get things going, it'll walk you through how to use it and which readings to take. So I'm going to do that right now by hitting start. It'll want you to select and pair your Vita stick, of which there should probably be only one. And then what it's going to ask you to do is to uh, calibrate the pen. So you do that by moistening the tip a bit with some water, which I fortunately have here. And then you run it along this portion of your thumb. Now the app is going to tell you if you're calibrating it properly. And if you do, you'll get a green light, hopefully here in a second, and then it'll be safe to move on to do the other measurements. Now we've got the calibration done, and then what it's gonna do is tell you to move the pen to different spots, in this case on your hand, and it'll measure certain vitamin levels there. So the first one is biotin, and you do that by applying the pen to this spot on your thumbnail and you're just trying to get a reading. And once it does, it lets you move on. So you'll switch spots to where it tells you. In this case, it's on the other side of my thumb. And it takes just a couple seconds. I've got that reading. Now we're moving on. And you'll see that these are basically the same for all of the points. And it goes relatively quickly. And then what I'll do is I'll show you what it looks like when I've gotten the complete reading. So that's how you use the Vita Stick. And what you're trying to do is track vitamin trends over time. So the app will collect that information over several weeks and give you sort of a picture of your vitamin levels. Now, the questions for me are, how accurate is it? How reliable is it? How consistent is it? So I'm gonna spend the next few weeks taking uh, readings every couple days, a few times a week, and tracking my progress over time. Then I'll take a look at what vitamins I might be deficient in, and then look at potentially um, taking some vitamins or supplements to help me boost those levels, and seeing if the app, the device, can tell the difference. Now, there's one thing I will point out here. I'm not a doctor, and this is not a medical device. So this is meant to give you a picture of your health in consultation with a health professional. Uh, don't take vitamins or any other medications without talking to a doctor first. Certainly don't take your medical advice from me. I'm just a technology blogger. But I am interested in how this works, like I said, and what kind of trends or pictures it's going to show me over time. So watch for a full review in a few weeks once I've had a real chance to test in uh, and dig in with it. There will be information on techgadgetscanada.com about the Vita Stick, and of course that's where the full review will go up as well. It'll be here on the YouTube channel too. Now if you have questions about how this device operates, uh, anything else you want to know about it as I'm working through the testing period, please post your comments here below, or you can hit me up on Twitter or Instagram at ErinLYYC. Thanks so much for watching this video, and don't forget to check back in a couple of weeks.